there, Leslie Abraham here, the founder of Bonjour Baby. Today, we are going to talk about squats. Why you should be doing squats during your pregnancy, how to begin with them, and to progress them along the way as you feel stronger. So I love doing squats with my client during pregnancy as they are a really uh, great exercise to use to strengthen your leg, uh, improve your posture, work on your core at the same time when you are uh, using the right kind of breathing along with that. So let's not waste any time and let's see how we can begin with squats and progress them. So first thing first, if you never really worked on squat before or if you're not really active before your pregnancy, I always recommend starting with a chair. So that's something that you can really do at home. You just have to uh, take a chair and do that. So you're just gonna stand in front of the chair, uh, looking straight forward. And you're gonna keep your feet here, shoulder width apart. And so from there, you can keep your hands here or keep your hands on your hips, it's as you like. I like to have my hands here. So from there, you're gonna go down, bend the knees, reach the chair with your butt, and come up, up, squeeze the butt at the top. So you wanna breathe in, and breathe out when you come up. And as you breathe out, you're really gonna feel that wrapping here against your, your baby. You're kind of uh, hugging your baby here. So breathe in and breathe out and again breathe in and breathe out and come up you really want to take it slow not move too fast as the faster you're gonna go the less um, benefit you're gonna get from it because you won't breathe the right way you really want to put the attention and your focus on your breathing Breathing out is very important during that exercise and really engaging the core muscle so you make sure that you are also working on that posture while you are performing your squats. Something that we see a lot when people are doing squats are knees going in just over there. So to avoid that, you can use that type of bend just here. Really easy to find. You find them on Amazon for like less than 10 bucks, like a pack of five. And you can pack that every time you go on vacation or traveling. So you want to put that guy here, just above the knees, here. So above the knees caps, okay? So just like that. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you some feedback on how your knees are going in. So you wanna do the same thing. So feet, shoulder width apart. And so from there, going down, breathing in, and breathing out, making sure I'm pushing against that bend. So I'm not pushing like crazy, like I'm gonna hurt my knee, but like just resisting the feedback that I have from the bend, okay? So again, same thing, breathing in and breathing out, pushing against the bend, okay? So that's really something very easy to do. Once you are more uh, comfortable with that, you have two ways that you can progress that. You can use an exercise ball against a wall. So here you just uh, lean against the wall on your exercise ball and go up and down and up and down. And that's something that a lot of pregnant women really like because they feel the support of it. Otherwise, you can just do bodyweight squats. So same thing, you can use the band or not for some feedback, but basically that's exactly the same thing. So going down, going out. Same thing, keep going. And again. Once you feel more comfortable with that, you can try exactly the same thing without the bend. You don't need to perform your squats always with the bend. Another way to progress that, you have different ways since you are comfortable with doing your squats, just body weight. You can load yourself or you can work on the depths of your squats. So by loading, you can use just one dumbbell, just over there, here. Uh, take it here, as we call it, goblet squat. And so from there, that's the same thing. So stay engaged, really bring the shoulders back and the shoulder blades together. And from there, going back down and going up. Again, from the side. Here, going down. Going up, really easy to do. If you feel like you want more challenge, you can place 
two dumbbells on your shoulder. Just over there, they are sitting on your shoulders. Same thing, going down, going up. And you keep going like that. If you want to um, add more challenge, you can always add a push all the way up when you're coming up. So let's see that. So breathing in, coming in, coming down, breathing out, coming up. And that's it. That's the challenge. Something that you can use to, and I like to use it with my clients, are uh, medicine balls. Medicine balls are great to, to use as well. So exactly the same thing. So you squeeze here, so you have some kind of engagement here, bringing the shoulders back and the shoulder blades together here. So you're working on your core, you're working on your back muscle as well, and on your legs. So exactly the same thing. So that's a way to make those uh, squat exercises whole body movements. And that's really something that we want to thrive on as we progress along the pregnancy, as we really want to be able to uh, bring that heart rate up to uh, really improve your endurance to prepare you for labor. Uh, that's um, also a very good uh, drill to use for posture as you're working really the synchronization of upper body, uh, mov upper body and muscles contraction and uh, lower body movement by using uh, your core as a stabilizer. So that's very interesting. Something else that you can use is that little guy. So that's a yoga block. And I like to use that with my pregnant clients to uh, really help them free their hips. So working on those deep squats. So at first it's very hard. So you want to put them, to put it on the floor. I don't know if you see that. Yes, you see it here. And so from there, here you want to try and reach for the block. So from there, breathing in, touching, coming up, okay? And so you can progress it. First, you're gonna try to use it as so, and then maybe as so, and then maybe as so. Something that you can do with squats and that little tool is when you're resting during your workouts, you can always take that. So here, or maybe here, and try to sit on it. So hop, you're gonna go all the way down here, deep squat here. So you have some support. So you don't want to lay all the way back here and be seated, but you want to be a little more here. And so here you can play around with your hip mobility. And if you feel like it's too high, you can always bring it lower here and play around with the hip mobility. And that's a very good exercise to use during your pregnancy to work on your hip mobility. Uh, a lot of pregnant women, they are suffering from hip pain. To work on your hip mobility is gonna help if you feel from lower back pain as well. And to kind of free up that area, feel lighter after. So that's a very good drill to use. All right, so that was a quick video on how to use squats during your pregnancy. I'll see you in the next video. Coming up next, we have a short workout, a five minute workout, where we, are, where we are using those squats uh, so you can fit it anywhere in your scale. Bye-bye, à bientôt.